In October 1984, the eyes of the world turned to Loma Linda University Health as a big idea was being put into action. Dr. Leonard Bailey and his team were making a giant leap in the treatment of babies with sick hearts. It has never been done before, not successfully, and not on a patient so small. The compassionate thing to do is to try to find some help for these uh, babies. I wanted to be able to transplant the babies. I wanted them to live. He literally put Loma Linda's name on the map around the world as a place that was committed not only to our unique faith-based beliefs, but to advancing the science of medical care today. The story of one of Loma Linda University Health's icons begins with a wake-up call on the other side of the country. As a sophomore at Columbia Union College in Maryland, a young Leonard Bailey met Walter Clark, the Dean of Admissions at Loma Linda University School of Medicine. He was an amazing, no-nonsense character who, after reviewing my college performance, said, Bailey, if you're serious about becoming a doctor, here's what you'll do. And he spelled it out in no uncertain terms. My conversation with that Loma Linda Dean was transformative. And from that day forward, I became a serious and a high-performing pre-medical student. Nevertheless, when I first applied to the Loma Linda Medical School, I was denied entry. I remember the profound disappointment. The next year, I was accepted, and somehow I just knew that I had found the place that I was destined to be. During Dr. Bailey's second year at the School of Medicine, Dr. Lewis Smith performed the first transplant at Loma Linda, a successful kidney transplant. That success gave Dr. Bailey ideas for his future. Studying under people like Dr. Ellsworth Wareham, Dr. Bailey found a home in cardiothoracic surgery. And after completing a fellowship at the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children, he came back to Loma Linda, determined to help infants with fatal heart disease. Uh, certainly up until the early 1980s, um, none of these babies survived. None of them. After years of research and cross-species transplantation, Dr. Bailey and his team were ready to try and save the life of a child. A time came when a baby entered the hospital that became known as Baby Faith, ultimately. And my options that were, were given to me were you can leave her here and let her die. You can take her to Barstow Hospital and let her die. Or you can take her home and let her die. And together, we agreed that maybe baby Faye, instead of dying, uh, which is what all babies with hypoplastic left heart syndrome did in those days, uh, that perhaps uh, baby Faye could be saved uh, with this experimental technology of cross-species transplantation. On October 26, 1984, Baby Faye's broken heart was transplanted. Although she only lived for 21 more days, she was the beginning of successful infant heart transplantation. It took several years for me to actually realize that she was the one who opened the door for this to take place. And I wish she could have been born down the road, but somebody at some point in time had to be first. Baby Faye and Leonard Bailey's unique work to launch a whole movement within healthcare of saving infants changed Loma Linda forever. The impact of Dr. Bailey's operation on Baby Faye is that he taught us and he taught the world that nothing's impossible. That persistent pursuit for the right answer to a difficult problem is our responsibility. The infant heart transplant program at Loma Linda led the way becoming the standard for programs that would be launched at hospitals around the world. Dr. Bailey would go on to perform 376 infant heart transplants and become an authority on congenital heart surgery. And that has literally changed the face of transplantation around the world, moving even beyond hearts to saying there are ways to save the lives of these tiniest among us. Dr. Bailey's influence has reached well beyond the walls of the hospital in Loma Linda. Traveling with the overseas heart surgery team, he has taught surgeons around the globe new techniques and impacted the lives of countless patients. While at home, 
Dr. Bailey has inspired medical students and the next generation of doctors. So he's a kind of, if I can say, rock star on this campus that exemplifies the best of Loma Linda's values. And he has been willing through the years to share that story and that mentorship with our young professionals as they develop. Uh, it's you know, amazing. Anytime you can spend any time with a, a person that's, that's literally done everything, seen everything, but has, you know, remained kind of humble and, and kept everything in perspective, it's, it's, it's great. You know, if you're across the table from him operating on something that you've only seen once or twice, he's probably seen it 50 times, 100 times. Yeah, it was amazing. I wish I, I wish I had more time with him. Everyone saw Dr. Bailey the same. This was a gentle man. This man was calm. This man was passionate. This man was persistent in perfection. This man is what we all want to grow up to be. In many ways, I sensed my own life was a bit of a perfect storm. And Loma Linda's evolution in life was a perfect storm. Many of these elements had to kind of come together to create pediatric uh, heart transplantation. As the transplant program at Loma Linda University Health continues to grow, and as a generation of infant heart transplant recipients graduate college and have children of their own, we know that it took an incredible team to achieve these feats. But it all started with one man willing to put his big idea into action, a big idea that would change the world.